Hi everybody, welcome back to my tutorial series. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a pre-purchase upsell campaign. Pre-purchase upsell is presented before a customer completes the order or transaction. They are a very important part of the sales process because of their potential to increase average order value of the customers. With the checkout upsell plugin, you could display the order bump offer on the checkout page. Before we get into this video, if you have not yet installed the plugin, a detailed installation guide and a purchase link to this particular plugin is mentioned at the description below. Feel free to check it out. Now let's move on to creating a pre-purchase upsell campaign. To do this, we're going to go to the WordPress dashboard. After you successfully install the upsell plugin, you'll be able to find it here. Go to campaigns and click on create new campaign button and select the campaign type. The campaign type that we are going to select now is a pre-purchase. So let's click on pre-purchase. Now all that we have to do is give the campaign a name. After we have given the campaign a name, we can start adding the upsell offers. We are going to display cap as an upsell product for 50% off when customers have products from t-shirt category on their cart. Alright. To do this, we are going to go click on add offer. And here we get to choose the offer product. The offer product is cap, isn't it? So let's enter cap here. Select it and then comes the quantity. By default, this is empty, meaning customers can buy whatever quantity of this cap they want for an offer price. But if you set some quantity here, it means only that particular quantity customer will be able to buy. I'm going to leave it to empty. Next comes the discount type and the discount value. As said, we're going to offer 50% off on this cap. This is the upsell offer. So let me click on percentage as the discount type. You also have other discount types that you can make use of according to your requirement. But let me go for percentage discount 50. Here's the discount value. That's it. On the right, you can view the offer preview. This is what the order bump looks like on the checkout. Next comes the usage limit. Here you can set overall usage limit or you could also limit this particular offer per customer. By default you can notice both of these usage limits are unlimited meaning customers can use it n number of times. But when you set an overall usage limit it means that if you set 2 here it means the offer can only be claimed twice. Same customer purchasing it twice or two different customers. All right. But when we go for usage limit per customer, it means how many times a single user can make use of this particular offer. We're going to leave it unlimited. We have selected the offer product and we have set the order bump. Now let's go to the template contents. The good thing about the plugin is you can customize the content of the order bump and the look and feel of it. So let's go to template contents and here you can edit all of the things that you see here such as offer title, offer description, offer CDA text all of this. You can also add your own custom image for this particular order bump. And then we also have template styling where you can change templates. Let me quickly show you. By clicking on this change template button, you will be able to see the different templates that you can use for your order bump. Great, isn't it? I'm going to stick with the default one because I kind of like it. And then let's go to the styles. You can also have your own custom styling by clicking on enable and you'll be able to change the border and the color of it and then the font size, the CDA section, all of this can be customized according to your needs. After you set all of these things up, you can click on add offer so your offer will be saved. Another interesting thing about the plugin is that you can add up to five offers in a single campaign. Right now we have given an offer product to be capped for 50% off, isn't it? You can likewise add up to five offer products which will serve as the upsell offers. Next comes the display location at checkout page. You can actually decide where you would like to show the order bump at the checkout page. Right now by default it is use global setting but you could also display it in other places like before payment gateways or after place order button, offer short code etc. Alright, let me show you what the global setting is. If you are on the settings tab now, let's go to campaigns and here under pre-purchase you will be able to see the offer display location. Right now it is before payment gateways. Since we have selected use global setting, this is the setting that the plugin will make use of. That is what is mentioned here. Alright. Next comes the display method. 
this is applicable when you have multiple offers in a single campaign right now we only have one but if you have a lot of other offers in the same campaign then you can have it to be displayed in the following method it could be either random offer means on the checkout page the offers will be displayed randomly or you could also opt for all offers meaning all offers will be displayed remember at the beginning of the video I said we're going to offer a cap as an upsell product only when customers buy products from the t-shirt category right so that condition we're going to set now for this let's click on this drop down to choose a condition and select categories of items in the cart remember the category that we're going to specify is the t-shirt category so click on add condition and then you'll be able to see this extension now categories of items in the cart in list you can either choose to include or exclude the categories I'm trying to include one of the categories so let me click on in list and select the category to be t-shirt nice after I have entered the category that I would like customers to have products added to their cart well we are almost going to finish the setup but on the right you'll be able to see certain things such as the status of the campaign and then the priority this is when you have multiple campaigns on your store running and then you can also notice that you can schedule the campaign you can have a starting date and end date you can also set an expiry date for this particular pre-purchase campaign if you want to schedule this pre-purchase upsell for the future then you can also do it nice after we have done all the necessary settings we'll have to click on save and close before we get ready to test this campaign that's all the campaign is saved successfully you'll be able to see that the status of this campaign is right now active let's move forward to the testing to test this I'm going to take you to the storefront remember now only if customers have products from the t-shirt category they'll be able to see this upsell offer so let's go to the t-shirt category first I'm taking you to the category page t-shirts category page and here I can buy any of this product let me add this polo t-shirt to the card moving to the checkout since the condition is satisfied which means I have added a product from the t-shirt category to my card you'll be able to notice the order bump here nice as you can see the upsell offer in this scenario is a complementary product to the t-shirt category which is a cap but you could also have just any other product which simply adds value to this order now with just one click the upsell product gets added to the original order that is all this is how customers benefit from the pre-purchase upsell offer and this is a great way to increase your sales plus your average order value thank you so much for watching